So what do you do when you're stuck in that limbo area in life? When you graduate from college, all your friends have moved away and gotten real jobs, whatever that means. And as for you, you have no idea what you want to do with your life. How did this happen? I thought I had it all figured out. Graduate college, write my first book, which happens to turn into a Pulitzer Prize winning novel, and possibly marry a white woman. Or Asian. I'm open to both. But until then, I'm 24 years old and moving back to Brooklyn to live with my grandmother. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna impress the ladies. Well, not like it matters, because I'm so great with the ladies to begin with. When it comes to the ladies, I'm as smooth as sandpaper. I can count the ways of why I don't want to move back in with my grandmother. Man, I used to just come home from school. Grandmother would just jump out the closet. What was that for? Everything! My grandmother would beat you with anything in her hand. One day I was just messing with her, and she picked up the closest thing that was next to her, which happened to be the Bible. Well, give me strength! And then she started saying stuff I didn't even know was in the Bible. Good Lord sent his only begotten son down here so I can whoop your ass and still be forgiven! Now how the hell do you explain to your friends that you literally got the word of God beaten into you? Not only do I have to put up with my grandmother, I have to put up with my grandma's boyfriend. Good old Rufus Stottlemyer. How did the date go? Well, she had a dead eye. Mm -hmm. So when I was looking at me while the other eye was looking out the window. So I don't know if she had a good time or she was waiting to jump ship. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll tell you. You got to love a woman. You got to take care of her. Feed her. Pet her. Like a dog? Yeah, that ain't right, is it? Mm -hmm. I got it. A woman is like a vineyard of grapes. You gotta tend to them, water them, raise them, tell them what to do. Pearls of wisdom I'll hold on to. Thanks again, Rufus. No problem, son. That's what I'm here for. Oh, yeah, that's really not necessary. Oh, Carrie Dent. I swear I've had a crush on you for like 10 years. You've only lived across the street from my grandmother for 20 years. Maybe one of these days I'll actually have the testicular fortitude to tell you my feelings. My therapist said I should just go for it and talk to her. <laughs> yeah right, Carrie's like 7 feet tall. I'm short. Like Michael J. Fox short. I would literally have to get a running jump start just to give her a high five. Where do all the therapists go to in the summer? Woody Allen posed a good question. I believe they have shock therapy every year. All the crazy stuff they hear? How in the world can they be sane? All of this hard work to get a piece of paper that says I have a BFA. Well, at least when I'm homeless in Central Park, I'll have something to burn to keep me warm. Sometimes I wonder if I made the right career decision. Hi, can I have everyone's attention? Uh, I provide free entertainment, and uh, applause and tips are very welcome. Definitely the wrong career choice. Don't forget to smile, man. I promise it won't mess up your hair. Either he was hitting on me, or Brooklyn isn't that bad.
Not much to do, I guess, after all. Well, maybe not. Yeah. 